to our older, what to our older brothers, what to our older brothers. We wash the coffee. We wash the coffee. Aim at our hustle. When you got them getting into that wash, and you know that tip gonna be good like you just see that there. Y'all better stop buying this slippery soap, man. All right, let's break it down in a way that hits closer to home. Because the tea being spilled right now is so wild, it's practically a tsunami. So, 50 Cent is back at it again, doing what he does best, shaking up the industry and making sure nobody sleeps soundly. This time, he's coming in hot with some major claims, and it's about to get real messy. Apparently, 50's got receipts on Diddy's infamous freak-off parties. And guess who's caught up in the storm? Rick Ross. Yeah, you heard that right. Things are about to get wild, so grab a snack, because this ride isn't slowing down anytime soon. Now, we all know 50 loves a good feud, but this time, he's not just stirring the pot, he's flipping it upside down. He's claiming to have tapes of Diddy's crazy, oil-soaked parties, and word on the street is that Rick Ross was one of Diddy's closest partners in crime. And guess what? 50's not keeping this quiet. He's got plans to drop all of this in a Netflix docu-series. Yep, Netflix. If you thought this was just some internet gossip, think again. This could blow the lid off the rap game for real. Let's break this down. 50 has been on Diddy's case for a minute, calling out his questionable lifestyle. But now, things took a serious turn when he set his sights on Rick Ross. It all kicked off when 50 posted lyrics from Ross's track, you owe you know. And the lyrics? Well, they weren't exactly PG. The line was about some pretty shady behavior toward women, and 50 wasn't about to let it slide. He posted the lyrics on Instagram alongside photos of Rick and Diddy with the caption, at some point, you just gotta do the right thing. And just like that, fans were buzzing. People quickly caught on to what 50 was hinting at. Rick Ross might be deeper into Diddy's wild lifestyle than anyone thought, and this wasn't Ross's first rodeo either. He's dropped hints in his music before, even throwing shade at Diddy in a track where he implied that Diddy was up to no good with a girl group under his label. Fans started connecting the dots, and things got messy fast. But the real kicker? Rick Ross's baby mama, Tia Kemp, jumped into the fray, and she wasn't holding back. Tia dropped some serious accusations, claiming Rick put a hit out on her. Yeah, like a real hit because she threatened to expose his involvement in Diddy's freaky business. So we better clock this T right here. Renee says, you wanna stay keeping up shit? We better talk about some real T. Your brother over there paying people to put this out. He over there paying people to put this out. And he's running off with his money and it's getting back to me. So now, now I'm finna send the feds over there to y'all mother. Empire. See, you had the right bitch today, ho. You keep playing with me, I'm finna tear y'all motherfucking empire down. Next, we gonna talk about Miss Carol. Y'all know who Miss Carol is. You know that's behind your brother. I'm finna make sure her family sue y'all whole estate. Cause that case is not closed. You know the lady that was leaving from my mama house, getting her hair done that time. And it's behind your brother and his drama. You know that. You know. You know about the man who they who, who was in front of Black House? Okay. We fit dig up a whole bunch of motherfucking maggots right now, ho. I'm not fit to play with you, you Ozempic. I'm fit to finish y'all. Watch. According to her, the only reason she's still around is because the hitman Rick hired took his money and warned her instead. Can you believe that? She even hinted that Rick wanted her gone because she knew too much about Diddy's parties and was ready to spill everything to the feds. This is next level drama. And it didn't stop there. Tia went on to suggest that Rick had been involved in some shady deaths, all to keep his secrets hidden. She straight up named names and said Rick's crew had done some dirty work, making sure no one could speak out. Wild, right? So why is 50 so involved in all this? Well, aside from the fact that he loves a good feud, it seems like he's got a personal vendetta against Diddy, 
50's been calling out Diddy's lifestyle for years, but this time, he's taking things to a whole new level. If this Netflix series happens, it's not just gonna be trolling on Instagram anymore. 50 might be exposing some long hidden secrets that'll shake the industry to its core. But let's circle back to Rick Ross. He's been mostly quiet on the allegations, but 50's trolling finally pushed him over the edge. Ross hopped on Instagram Live, trying to clear his name, but his response wasn't exactly what fans were hoping for. He seemed more upset about Diddy getting dragged than the accusations themselves. And that only made things worse. So, as 50 keeps stirring the pot, it's clear this story isn't just a flash in the pan gossip piece. It's shaping up to be one of those industry shaking moments that people will be talking about for years. With names like Diddy, Rick Ross, and Meek Mill caught in the middle of these bombshell revelations, the stakes are only getting higher. If 50's Netflix series does get greenlit, it could open the floodgates on more secrets and backroom deals, dragging even more names into the fray. We've seen what can happen when the music industry's dirty laundry gets aired out. And this saga could be the next chapter in a long line of shocking exposés. But let's be real, 50 Cent is no stranger to controversy. He's made a career out of keeping his name at the top of the headlines, and this situation isn't any different. The question now isn't just about whether the accusations will stick, but how much more Dirt 50 has in his arsenal. And given his track record, it's safe to say he won't back down anytime soon. The entertainment world is holding its breath, waiting to see how deep this rabbit hole goes. Will Diddy, Ross, and Meek manage to shake off the allegations, or will they be pulled deeper into 50's web of chaos? Either way, one thing is certain. This isn't the last we've heard of this mess, and the tea is far from fully spilled. So buckle up, because when 50 Cent's involved, you know things are only going to get crazier from here. And just when you thought things couldn't get any messier, 50 went and threw Meek Mill into the mix. Fans dug up old footage of Meek at Diddy's parties, including one clip where Diddy calls him Daddy. Meek tried to laugh it off, but the internet wasn't letting him off the hook that easy. Then, rumors started swirling about some audio involving Meek and Diddy in some, uh, compromising positions. Word is, Nicki Minaj was the one who leaked the audio. Messy, right? At the end of the day, this whole saga isn't just about old beefs. It's about control. 50 Cent is determined to own the narrative, and if this Netflix series becomes a reality, it's going to be a game changer. The question is, how far will he take it? And what happens when those tapes, if they even exist, finally drop? Buckle up, because this tea isn't done steeping yet, and the spill is gonna be legendary.